G'day guys, Greg's Kitchen Time once again and today for lunch I'm going to be making a delicious Philly cheese steak. <sighs> How good do they look? Oh, I can't wait to devour one of these. So let me show you the ingredients that I'm using today. Well, for starters, you're going to need some steak. I'm using some steak strips here. Organic. Yama. You'll also need some provolone cheese. I've got an onion, some capsicums, a few bread rolls, and some parsley. Ooh, yeah. Now I'll leave a list of all the ingredients and the amounts I'm using in the show more bar down below. Anyway, let's start cooking. All right, well for starters, I better warm up my frying pan I'm using. And I got nearly half a kilo of meat there, so I'll use about a third of each of these capsicums. Now, you could just use one green one or one red or one yellow, but I'm just doing this for the extra color that this is going to bring to this delicious dish. So we'll cut these into nice sort of fine strips. Oh yeah, awesome. And you'll also need some onion, about half a big one or one small one. I hope I cut this onion correctly. I know how people get quite upset at my onion cutting skills or lack thereof. I might even just leave these like this actually. Then I can't get into so much trouble. Yeah. All right, is this frying pan warmed up yet? Oh, it's, oh, yes it has, you ripper. Better add some olive oil in there. And get these steaks on. Get in there, start cooking. That is some good looking meat. Look at the color of it. Woo wee. Grass fed, free ranging. Totally organic. Let's uh, add some pepper in there. A must for any meat dish. And we'll add some salt too. Also a must for any meat dish. Make sure you let the meat sear nicely before you start turning it over. All right, well, now that steak's done, I'll just put it in a bowl on the side. Bit more olive oil. Try and deglaze that pan. And we'll throw in the capsicums and the onions. And we'll cook these for about five minutes. And while they're cooking, I just wanted to cut up a few stalks of the parsley. This will add another really nice color to the mix. And with the cheese, you could either just cut it into thin slices, but I thought I'd grate mine. Make it easier to melt, you see. Oh yeah. All right, how's this going? It's going all right, I reckon. Now, something else I wanted to do was just slightly toast these buns. So, of course, to help it along the way, we're gonna need some butter, won't we? Oh yeah, that'll help melt in and give this some extra added delicious flavor. And we all know the benefits of butter, right? Well, about 40 years ago, I used to be much smaller and then I started eating butter and now I'm really tall. So how about we use the air fryer to heat these buns up? Give them a few minutes in there. And now these veggies are looking really nicely cooked. So I'll stick the meat back in. And we'll add in the cheese. And the parsley. And we'll get that melting all together. I better turn the heat right down actually. Because I don't want it burning this cheese. All right, well, that looks ready. So let's turn it off and start plating it up. Okay, got the buns. I got the meat. Oh, the crunch. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, mate. And there you have it, some delicious Philly cheese steaks, a la Greg's Kitchen. And feel free to add your own extra condiments as well. Mmm, 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 you should smell this kitchen. Oh, mate, it smells so good. Anyway, let's give one of these a go. Yes. Oh, man, this looks good. That tastes so good, you got no idea. Oh. Mm. Mm. Now if you want to make this, I've left all the ingredients and the right amounts to use in the show more bar down below. But it's really tastes awesome and worth giving a go. Anyway, I'm going to sit here and finish these bad boys off. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time I cook something amazing. See you then. Yes. Oh yeah. This is